So drones usually fight over who's faster, who's smoother, and who's got the sharpest camera, right? But this new one. The anti-gravity A1 is doing its own thing. It, it's all about capturing everything in 8K360, letting you relive flights like you're inside VR. It's tiny, travel friendly, and it's trying to flip drone filmmaking on its head. And hey, before we go any further, don't just fly past this video. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on leaks and deep dives like this. We're not here to tell you what to buy, we're here to keep you in the loop before things even launch. Now back to the A1. What makes it interesting is this fly first, frame later idea. Instead of stressing over nailing the shot mid-flight, you just capture everything in 360, then pick your angle afterward. It's, it's creative freedom without the pressure of precision piloting. But, and you knew a butt was coming, it, it's not perfect. For starters, those dual fisheye lenses, one on top, one on the bottom, super cool for 360, but also super exposed takeoff and landing suddenly become a careful balancing act because one scratch and you're done. Compare that to drones with protected gimbal cameras and you see the risk. Then there's the fact that anti-gravity is owned by Insta360, which being a Chinese company could face the same US regulatory headaches as DJI, bans, import restrictions, resale issues, it's all on the table and that's a real concern if you're buying early. Flying it is also a whole new experience. The 360 FPV view lets you look anywhere independent of the drone's path. Sounds awesome, but also disorienting. Motion sickness is very real, and beginners might crash while looking the wrong way, even with obstacle avoidance sensors. Plus, in many countries, if you're using a headset, you legally need a spotter keeping eyes on the drone. That sub 250 grams weight might save you from registration, but it won't save you from those headset rules. Then we've got video quality concerns. We don't know if the A1 supports 10-bit, D-Log-M, or HLG. It might only offer iLog, like the Insta360 X5, and even then, only at 5.7K. Cropping footage into 16x9 or 9x16 also reduces sharpness compared to drones with dedicated single direction cameras. For pros who care about grading in detail, that's not ideal. And let's talk controls. Right now, you fly it with the grip motion controller. Great for beginners, but if you're an experienced pilot used to the fine control of dual sticks, you're gonna feel handcuffed. Rumor has it a stick controller might be coming, but for now, it's grip or nothing. Here's the thing though, we don't want you to just watch this and immediately rule out the A1. There's still so much we don't know, exact video specs, still photo quality, range, speed, wind resistance, battery life, altitude, storage, you get the idea. This drone might still surprise us, but until the official launch and real reviews drop, it's smart to wait and see. And that's what we do here, we don't review, we keep you updated with the leaks. If that's your thing, you know what to do subscribe, and stick around. Peace.